everyone, welcome back to the Project Awesome. So I'm back with a new product review and first impression um, video. So today we're going to test this very popular collaboration of Maybelline and Gigi Hadid. So it's super exciting. Parang sabi ni Gigi Hadid sa kanyang Instagram account, it's one year in the making. So almost one year daw nilang pinaghandaan, pinagplanuhan yung lahat and then they finally came up with this. Merong dalawang collection yung Gigi and Maybelline collaboration so we have the West Coast Glow and the East Coast Glam. Of course pinag-aralan ko din and research ko din yung product sa dalawang um, collection dun sa West Coast Glow, more on the warm side sila kasi nga, Kali vibes yung um, gustong i-achieve natin dito sa West Coast um, glow na to. And then dun sa East Coast naman, more on city chic daw, pang urban, ganyan. So, more on the neutral tones, yung mga shades dun sa East Coast Glam Collection. So, yesterday, I was at SM North Edsa with my sister and her baby, Isabella Sky. And then, hindi ko talaga planong bumili ng makeup. And then, nung napunta kami sa makeup section sa department store, nakita ko, guys, Actually, nakikita ko na yung pictures ng um, Gigi and Maybelline collaboration. Tapos, nagdadalawang isip ako, bibili ko ba? Itatry ko ba? Kasi, I don't know, maybe we're just um, paying for the name of Gigi for the collaboration. Pero, nung nakita ko yung products, I was just so stoked. Ang ganda ng packaging. It's holographic, guys. It's holo. Sino ba namang hindi maiinlove sa packaging na to? And then, of course, I tested out the products. And then, compared it to the other Maybelline products na meron na sila, and masasabi kong somehow meron din namang difference. So, let's talk about that. Unang masasabi ko lang dito sa Gigi and Maybelline collaboration, they're more pricey compared to the other Maybelline products. Kasi diba, usually, kunyari yung eyebrow pencil nila, medj mahal na yung 250 pesos na eyebrow pencil para sa Maybelline. Pero yung eyebrow pencil from the Gigi Maybelline collaboration, it costs, magkano ba yun? Meron akong kodigo dito, sorry guys. Yung, yung eyebrow pencil dito sa Gigi and Maybelline collaboration, it costs 349 pesos. So, mas mataas siya ng konti kumpara dun sa mga usual prices ng kanilang mga um, eyebrow pencils, ba? Hindi ko kinolekta lahat, hindi ko binili lahat, kasi nga, yung iba, parang same lang naman dun sa ibang products nila, and then yung iba, hindi ko naman talaga actually magagamit, magagamit nabubulol na naman ako. So, ang kinuha ko lang yung mga products na alam kong gagamitin ko talaga. So, ito lang yung mga kinuha ko. So, first, I have the Gigi Hadid BB Cushion in the shade Fair. So, this shade is, I think, kasi parang nasa packaging niya eh. Yung more on the cool tones yung makita nyo, parang more on the silver side siya. Ito yung East Coast Glam. And then, pagka gold-gold naman yung dating ng box, yun yung sa West Coast Glow. So, ito yung shade na fair. Dalawa lang yung shades na meron yung BB Cushion. Actually, hindi ako fanay ng mga BB Cushions. And then, hindi ko rin masyadong ginagamit yung BB Cushion ng Maybelline. Kasi, para sa akin, yung shade niya medyo ashy. Pero, kung tinignan ko yung BB Cushion shades ng Gigi Hadid collection ng Maybelline, um, nakita ko na mas may yellow undertone tong... Um, BB Cushion sa Gigi Hadid collection kumpara sa mga BB Cushions ng Maybelline before. So, we have the Fair and Natural. At first, akala ko kasi medyo mas maputi ito sa akin. So, ang una kong tinignan yung Natural, which is darker. And then, ang tinignan ko na siya, it's a bit reddish. So, parang maitim siya sa akin. Tapos, sobrang warm pa ng dating niya. So, it's not for me. And then, nung tinignan ko tong BB Cushion na Fair, um, medyo malapit sa skin tone ko and yellow undertone siya. So, I got this. This cost 7.99 pesos. Ito talaga yung pinakamahal. Ito talaga yung nagpamahal like, sa kanila. So, this what it looks like. I really, really like the packaging of it. And holo pa rin yung, um, what they call this, yung label niya, yung name ni Gigi. Ayan ang itsura niya. And then, sa likod, nakalagay lang yung shade name codes, manufacturing date, and then when you open it, it looks like this. So, meron siyang mirror. Mukha din naman siya yung compact um, baby cushion nila before. Mirror, and then yung um, powder sponge or powder puff. And then, ayan, nakasil pa siya yung itsura niya sa loob. Diba? Ewan ko kung nakikita niyo properly dito sa video, but it has a yellow undertone. That's why I like this baby cushion, and that's why binili ko din siya. Ayan yung shade niya. O, oh, diba? It's a bit lighter than my skin tone, pero tignan natin pagka nasa face ko na siya. And then the next Gigi Hadid product that I got is their 
liquid strobe, of course, hindi mawawala yung highlighter, guys. Halos lahat ng pinili ko from the East Coast side kasi yung mga cool tones, I think kasi yun yung nababagay sa skin tone ko. Ang pinili ko lang from the West Coast um, collection is yung lipstick nila na Austin shade. So, ayan yung itsura niya. So, pareho lang naman yung itsura from the East Coast and the West Coast collection. Ang pinagkaiba lang yung label ng shade nila dito. Nakikita niya color blue yan, diba? Dun sa warm, parang pinky siya. So, yun yung nag indicate kung cool or warm siya. Parang ganon. And then, when you open it, it has a nozzle. And then, ito yung shade niya. So, ayan siya. Oh, goodness gracious. Will you please look at that? Ayan. And then while I was checking out the products from the Gigi and Maybelline collaboration, um, kahit hindi ko binili lahat, sinwatch ko pa rin silang lahat. Ito nga po yung liquid strobe ng um, Cool Tone from the East Coast Glam. And then, ito yung picture, ayan yung side-by-side -side photo ng liquid strobe from the West Coast and the East Coast Glam. So, this liquid strobe cost for, um, 400, no, 399 pesos, yeah, roughly 400 pesos. Then, the next product that I have right here is the Gigi Hadid, um, gel eyeliner. So, sa eyeliners, merong, actually, tatlo. Merong gel eyeliner in black, and then, meron ding nude eyeliner, and then, meron ding liquid eyeliner. So, ang meron pa lang dito sa Pilipinas, yung liquid eyeliner and the gel eyeliner. Pero, nung sinwatch ko yung liquid eyeliner, na pansin ko na parang katulad lang siya ng mga Maybelline Hyper Sharp Eyeliners. That's why hindi ko nakinuha yon. And then, itong gel eyeliner naman na to, this cost 299 pesos. This is what the eyeliner looks like. It's a retractable gel eyeliner pen. Ayan, ganito karami yung products. Uh, oh, medyo mahaba naman siya ka. Nung sinwatch ko siya, parang kung sakto lang, it's not that jet black pa, sa unang swipe. Pero, you can build up the color. And then, nung nag-set na siya, hinayaan ko muna siya sa likod ng kamay ko. And then, nung nag-set na siya, medyo smudge proof siya. Pero, nung nirab ko siyang maigi, um, kumala siya. Pero, of course, hindi mo naman irab ng ganun yung mata mo pag nandyan na yung makeup, ba diba? So, sa isang rub pa lang na ganun, hindi naman siya nag-smudge. And then, finally, I have here two lipsticks from um, both of the collection eto yung sa East Coast Glam and then ito yung sa West Coast Glow. So, this is what the packaging looks like. Plastic yung lalagyan niya. Talikuran yung may label. And then, sa ilalim, typical may binin lipstick na sa ilalim yung shade color and shade name niya. Yung kulay ng sticker, yung kulay ng lipstick. And when you open it, it looks like that. And, tada! Ayan yung shade niya. Swatch ko muna. Ayan. Ayan yung shade na Tora. O, di ba? Ang ganda. Excited na akong gamitin yun sa makeup look na gagawin natin today. Surprisingly, wala. Walang amoy. Kasi yung mga Maybelline lipsticks, di ba? Parang amoy vanilla cupcake sila. Pero itong lipstick from the Gigi Hadid collection, it's unscented. I like it. I like it. Dito naman tayo sa lipstick na um, from the West Coast Glow collection. So, this is in the shade Austin. Ayan, yung packaging niya. I love it. And when you open it, tada! Ito naman yung shade na napili ko. More on the red tones, yung mga lipstick sa West Coast Glow. Pero ito yung pinili ko kasi nung in-apply ko siya, medyo, paano ba? Parang pinkish red. It reminds me of Christina Aguilera's lipstick dun sa burlesque movie. Kasi gusto, gusto ko yung lipstick niya dun sa isang act na ginawa nila dun. Tapos parang ganun yung shade niya. That's why I chose this. So, swatch natin sa tabi ni Tora. Wow! It's pigmented, guys. Isang swipe pa lang. Lalabas na yung actual color niya. Pinantay ko lang siya. That's why double swipe. Ito po yung photo na sinwatch ko ng mga lipis. Ayan, hinati ko siya. Dito sa kabilang part, yung dito muna tayo sa East Coast Glam. So, we have the shades um, McCall, yun yung lightest. And then, Tora, yung sinwatch natin kanina. And then, yung darkest from this collection is called Erin. And then, dito naman tayo sa West Coast Collection. So, we have the shades Lani, Care, and Austin. Austin yung shade na napili natin. So, those are all the lipsticks from the Gigi Hadid collection ng Maybelline. It costs 349 pesos per tube. Unfortunately, hindi pa available yung eyeshadows, yung eyeshadow palettes dito sa Pilipinas. Sa first week pa daw ng detail. So, itesta natin tong um, 
bibi ko siya ng Gigi Hadid collection ng Maybelline. Alam ko, maputi talaga to sa skin tone ko. Pero, nung tinignan ko yung likod ng kamay ko, yung sinwatch natin kanina, ayan, ano siya, para siyang nag-oxidize. So, baka naman mag adjust siya sa color ng skin tone ko. So, lagi kong sinisimulan dito. Oligwa ka muli. <laughs> It's maputi ng sober sa face ko. Pero, tignan natin, baka naman... We can work things out with this BB cushion. Um, so far, ang amoy niya, typical BB cushions. Ayan. So, ina-apply ko lang yung BB foundation, pero iba-buff ko yan using a buffing brush para pumantay sila at mawala yung mga stick marks. So, masasabi ko, medium lang yung coverage niya. Natakpan niya yung redness ng skin ko, nag-lighten yung dark, um, dark circles ko, pero nandyan pa rin yung pimples ko. Para mapantay na yun. <laughs> Para mapantay na siya. Buff, buff lang. Na-even out yung skin tone. Although, it's so maputi. <laughs> Kumpara sa skin ng leeg ko, oh. Ayan. It's maputi, pero na-even out yung skin tone ko, pero yung pimples ko nag-peak through pa din. Pero dun yung feel niya sa face, it's not sticky. It doesn't feel heavy. Okay lang. Pain lang natin yung new set. And then, parang I need concealer kasi dun sa dark spots ko. So, magko-conceal lang tayo. I'm going to use this Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade um, Light Medium. I'm just going to wait. It feels matte, pero hindi pa rin talaga ako sanay ng medyo nakakaramdam ako na hindi siya set. Ngayon, magkikilay muna ako. Off camera na lang, guys. Pero ang gagamitin ko, yung Maybelline Master Brow um, Eye Pencil. Ayan, naset na yung BB Cushion. I'm really, really happy about that. Nag-adjust na siya sa skin tone ko. Now, we can finally set it with this translucent powder. everything. Now, it's time to do the eye makeup. Kunin ko yung taupe shade na to. Okay, ko lang siya dito sa aking lower lash lines. After that, we're now going to take that gold eyeshadow. Actually, highlighter. But, oh my god, look at that. Perf! Pukuha tayo ulit ng konting taupe eyeshadow. And then, we're just going to blend out the edges ng gold eyeshadow para ma-merge siya lahat magkaroon ng konting gradient effect. Focus more on the outer corner. Now, we're going to take the Maybelline Gigi Gel Eyeliner. And then, i-smudge natin yan dun sa ating upper lash lines. I'm going to start by tight lining. Woo! After tight lining, dito na tayo sa upper lash lines. Pero, very, very gradually lang. Parang pinipil nyo lang yung mga spaces between the lashes. Just going to smudge, smudge, smudge. Pataas. So, since I needed more warmth on my eyes, nagdagdag ako ng konting um, darker shade ng brown. Parang warm brown lang dun sa um, crease area ko. And then, kukunin ko yung smudger brush na ginamit natin. Kukunin ko din yung same warm brown eyeshadow na yan. At lalagay sa aking lower lash lines. And kukunin ko lang ulit yung gold eyeshadow. Nadagdagan ko lang yung sa inner corners ko. And since wala ako ng fiber mascara ni Gigi and wala din ako ng Lash Sensational Mascara niya, gagamitin ko na lang yung regular Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara para lang i-prep yung eyes ko for the lashes. Of course, we're going to pop on some lashes later. Since ayokong masyadong ma-overpower yung eye makeup ko dahil simple lang siya, we're going to use Taiwan False Eye Lashes today. And I'm using the code Y66. Ito yung favorite kong Taiwan Lashes. And this is what it looks like. So nakikita niyo hindi siya masyadong boom na 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 false eye lashes. Parang sakto lang siya para hindi nga masyadong overpower yung ating eye makeup. So para talagang ma-achieve na natin yung sun-kissed glow na yan, we're going to bronze our face. I'm going to use this Sparkle Cosmetics um, 
contouring palette, I think. Just going to contour my nose. Very quick. Yeah, and now it's time for the golden highlighter. I'm just going to use this sleek makeup um, highlighter. Cleopatra's Kiss highlighter. Itong shade na to yung gagamitin kong pang highlight. Since wala akong masyadong blush ng Maybelline, I'm going to apply this um, Coralista by Benefit. It's a peach blush. Sobrang subtle lang na blush. Para lang, ayan, magkaroon ng konting warmth ng ating face. And then, eto na. Ilalagay na natin yung lipstick. So, again, I'm going to use the shade Austin from the West Coast Glam Collection. So this is my take on the West Coast Glam Makeup Look. The sun-kissed glow and the red lips. Ang ganda ng lipstick ha. So ito yung West Coast Glow. Glam ako ng glam. West Coast Glow. Now it's time to transform sa ating East Coast Glam. Um, lipstick ko and then yung eye makeup ko dinifuse ko lang siya tinanggal ko yung pagka gold niya using just um, a tissue pero hindi ko na um, tatanggalin yung pilik mata ko so for the um, east coast glam more on the neutral and cool tones naman tayo so i'm going to find a brown shade with a cool undertone i'm going to take this shade right here i'm just going to apply that Ibigyan ko sa paloob na parang, alam nyo yun, papunta dito sa tamay, yung piso ng kilay ko. I'm going to take this neutral shade right here. Ito. It's a matte eyeshadow. Ito. Using the same cool toned um, brown eyeshadow, apply that on my lower lash line. Now I'm just going to create a winged eyeliner and I'm going to use the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Power Black Eyeliner. So nung sinwatch ko nga yung Gigi Hadid liquid eyeliner, parang ganito lang siya. So hindi na ako bumili nun. And that's it for the eyes. Now we're going to add blush. I'm going to use the um, Benefit Dallas Blush. Itong shade na to. Just apply that on my cheeks. Now it's time to add highlighter and we're going to use the Gigi Hadid li um, liquid strobe in cool. I'm going to use this um, foundation brush kay Daddy Hopi to. Daddy Hopi pera muna ako. Para, para kasing ito yung bagay na gamitin. Iniwan niya kasing brush niya dito. Ayan tuloy nagagamit ko. <laughs> oh my god. Oh girl. I need a buffing brush for that. siyang matuyo. Hindi pwede yung flat brush na yun. Can you see me glowing the star feel? Mahirap pala pag itong ano, foundation brush yung gamitin. Yung flat, dapat mga ganitong precision brush yung gamitin. So, thank you daddy Hopi, pero hindi ko na siya kailangan. <laughs> Nagsaset siya agad. It dries matte. Lesson learned. Alam ko na next time kung paano siya mas gamitin ng mas maayos. Now it's time for the lips. Oh my God, malapit na tayong matapos guys. 
talagang pinray natin we achieve from the West Coast Glow to the East Coast Glam. Now it's time to use the best selling um, Gigi Hadid lipstick dito sa Pilipinas. So that is the shade Tara. Tara! Wow! I like it. So this is the East Coast Glam. Alright, so ito naman po yung take ko sa East Coast Glam and I really hope that you like this makeup look. Actually, mas gusto ko to kaysa dun sa West Coast Glow na ginawa ko. I really like the eye makeup. Okay, so anong masasabi ko sa mga Gigi Hadid products na to ng Maybelline? Well, all I can say is that I like it. I like all of them. I like the BB Cushion. Although sa una, ang puti niya sa face ko. Pero nung nag-set na siya, nag-oxidize siya actually. Nag-adjust siya sa color ng skin tone ko. It's very lightweight. Hindi siya mabigat, hindi siya malagkit. Lalo na nung naset ko na siya ng powder as in sobrang parang wala lang nakalagay sa face ko. For the light strobe, I like the color. I like the shade of this liquid strobe cool. Perfect siya sa skin tone ko. Kailangan lang mabilis kang magtrabaho or magblend pag inapply mo siya kasi nga um, madali siyang magset. As for the lipsticks, I like the colors. Mas gusto ko tong shade na to ng Tora kaysa sa Austin. Although I also like the color of this one, pero mas magagamit ko tong shade na to since hindi naman ako laging nagre-red lipstick. So, for special occasions lang to. It says here, matte lipstick, pero it doesn't feel matte. Pag titignan ko siya sa, um, sa salamin, may konting shin pa rin siya. So, I don't know kung bakit siya matte. More on a creamy lipstick siya for me. And then, as for the gel eyeliner, hindi siya nag-smudge, hindi siya kumalat. Kahit na meron akong oily lips, hindi siya kumalat. Kahit na nagbura na ako ng makeup, hindi siya natanggal yung tight line ko, yung liner dun sa um, lashes ko. Kahit na tinanggal ko yung unang makeup ko, yung West Coast Glow, hindi natanggal yung eyeliner na yun. So, para sa akin, okay tong Gigi Hadid gel eyeliner na to. Siguro, ang, ang masasabi ko lang, it's not that jet black. Hindi siya ganun ka black. Pero okay naman yung formula niya. So it's fine with me. Yung price ba nila worth it? Siguro yung iba dito pero yung lipstick since parang katulad lang naman siya nung ibang shades um, medyo namamahalan ako para sa 349 pesos. Pero ang kailangan yung isipin kung bakit medyo price sila bukod sa may pangalan siya ni Gigi Hadid, bukod sa collaboration nila to ng Maybelline, these products are limited edition. ba diba usually mga limited edition naman ng mga products ng mga makeup brands or ng iba pang brands, mas mahal sila compared dun sa mga products na nila talaga. That's why naiintindihan ko naman kung bakit medyo pricey siya kumpara dun sa ibang Maybelline products. Pero so far, okay na ako sa mga products na to ng um, Gigi Maybelline collection na meron ako. Yung lipstick, yung liquid strobe, yung gel liner, yung BB cushion. Ito yung mga products na alam kong magagamit ko madalas kumpara dun sa ibang products na nilabas nila. Thank you so much to Gigi Hadid and Maybelline for the idea. The looks that I created today were really inspired um, by her West Coast Glam, uh, West Coast Glow and East Coast Glam. Nakakabulol siya. Kung nakatulong itong video na to sa inyo, please don't forget to hit the like button. Let me know kung team West Coast Glow kayo or East Coast Glam. Comment below kung anong team kayo, West Coast or East Coast, para malaman ko anong looks yung mas gusto nyo and ano yung mga colors na mas preferred nyo. And kung anong products ng Gigi Hadid collection ng Maybelline ang bet nyong bilin. Okay, so that's it for this video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet for more videos like this. Mga first impression, product reviews, makeup tutorials, um, vlogs, at kung ano-ano pa. And don't forget to hit that notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa mga future videos natin. Okay? Thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one, you guys. Stay awesome and accomplish your mission. Bye!